Hey, hey, everybody. You know what day it is. It's wetness day. Yeah. So it's time for the chill goodness's words. <laughs> oh, man. November 1st. November 1st. Yeah. Well. That means I have to get taxed for my car, which I'm not happy about. Should be free. You know, if I mean if it's government mandated and they're supposed to be there for us, it needs to be free here. But uh but yeah, I'll have to do that soon. <clears throat> so how'd y'all's Halloween go? I uh played around on Warframe. Just chilled. Just chilled for the evening. I got a new dresser today. Um, it was kind of forced upon me. <laughs> but, but, I was like, well, wait a minute, actually. This will uh, free up a good amount of space in my house. Specifically in my bedroom. Make it to where my TV stand is a lot less cluttered and a lot more organized. So, actually, though, actually... <laughs> And then I made the best of it. Got uh, <clears throat> got my rifle laying on top, uh, right below the 16 gauge. Uh, got a bunch of my sharp pointy toys up there as well. A uh, picture of Wella and I when I was a child and another little family album. You know, I think it's actually kind of uh, a little poetic in a way. But I've got some family photos uh, on the top center of the dresser, and then I have, like, a lot of my weapons surrounding them. I think it kind of is. I didn't even think about it at the time, but, uh, looking at it now, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how did yours Halloween go? Did it go good? I hope it did. I hope it was either fun or really chill, nice, relaxing day for you. I, uh... <laughs> I just can't believe that it's fucking November already. I'm like, what in the actual fuck? How is it November already, dude? It wasn't... It was like last week that it was the beginning of October. I know literally last week it was, but it felt like October 1st was last week. It's fucking wild, dude. <laughs> it's fucking wild. I did get rid of a whole bunch of boxes, by the way. So, that helped a lot. I didn't realize how many of them were empty. And I don't like to send small boxes, because they get lost the easiest, obviously. And, uh, seeing as how a good, decent portion of folks really don't give a shit whenever they handle your package. Not all of them. I've, uh, you know, I've, I've actually had, uh, quite a few good drivers. I had two, two that were just fucking either lazy or stupid. Um... <laughs> <laughs> One of them, I, I guess, just couldn't read. I, I guess he just couldn't fucking read. I don't know. Had trouble finding my fucking mailbox, even though they, it was literally painted in bright fucking white on a black mailbox. And then uh, another one was like, oh, yeah, no, couldn't deliver. Uh, sorry. You know why he couldn't deliver? Because there was a car in the fucking uh, driveway. But it was something that could fit in the mailbox. So he didn't even have to fucking park. He didn't even have to stop on the road. He could have just fucking leaned out and shoved it in the mailbox. He was like, nope, nope. Oh my gosh, I, I see a car. I can't do it. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. Whoa. Maybe they're sitting and waiting for me. Oh. So, <laughs> fucking stupid shit. But, uh, yeah, all the ones that I've gotten other than those two, and one of them was an Amazon driver, the other was a FedEx. Uh, yeah. uh, they've been all chill. I've been on chill. We usually do deal with uh, UPS, though. Uh, and like I said, you know, there, there are a lot of them that are good. Uh, this phone actually came in the mail through FedEx. Uh, and the dude was super chill, very friendly, awesome. And uh, he was on time. And I actually had guessed correctly whenever he was going to show up the second time. Because I, I didn't realize that it uh, needed a signature to be handed off. Um, but, yeah. So... That was really nice. Yeah, I mean, if, what what for, for the things that you guys have had delivered? What what uh, delivery service had you had the most problems with? UPS, DHL, 
FedEx or the good old-fashioned postal service, the regular USPS. Because, uh, yeah, UPS is always, you know, brown has always come through right between the cheeks. <laughs> I mean, that's their motto. Let brown come through for you. I think it is, at least. Or maybe it was their old model. Or maybe that was just a parody of UPS that I'm remembering. Uh, it might actually just be a parody fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh, yeah. It was, it was good. It was good. Definitely a nice, chill day. Played some Warframe with a bestie. Had some good times. Fucked around with, uh... What do you call it? I fucked around with Death Cube a little bit, but I, I was more happy with the Penny V, the Panzer Volpe Fila. So I decided to stick with that. I kind of want to try some different weapons out. There's not enough, like, really badass sniper rifles in the game. There's one that its main thing is, oh, kill world bosses, yeah. And it's amazing at that. It is stupid at that. It is great in all the best ways. But there's nothing for, like, the majority of your gameplay. I mean, you kill, like, a world boss maybe a couple of times, and then you're like, all right, let's go do something else, you know, because uh, it is time-consuming. But, uh, yeah, for the majority of the time you play the game, I don't know, Rubico Brian is amazing still, but it's kind of boring for a game that's in the far-flung future, you know? Kind of all the sniper rifles really are, except for the, uh, the Sporothrix, which is, uh, <laughs> which is a sniper rifle that has explosive ammunition. It, uh, but it, it's, it's a living rifle, right? So it's a living rifle and, uh, living ammunition. So upon contact, it causes an explosion, but it's like a gunky, gooey, like, pus filled explosion. Which is nasty, but also that adds to its coolness, right? And then, it's a couple of seconds before it detonates inside of the target. Which is also fucking amazing. <laughs> um, however, the mod to increase your blast radius doesn't really do it all that much. Even if you have the prime version, like, it helps a little, but it's kind of a waste of a, uh, a weapon mod, truthfully. Um... But no, it's the coolest one. Honestly, if they made the Rubico Prime, <clears throat> like they upgraded it with Incarnate stuff, and they made it uh, have explosive rounds, but like explosive ricochet rounds, where it actually just shot more bullets or, or something like crazy, and they changed the sound of it to where it sounds like a proper fucking cannon instead of just your run-of-the-mill generic fucking rifle, uh, that would be insane. But I know they're not going to do it to the Rubico Prime, because it is the best sniper rifle in the game. So, all they've been doing is uh, giving the crazy upgrades to the shittiest, most unpopular weapons in the game. Which, I mean, fair. You know, for as much... Uh, for as many weapons and as many characters, so to speak, or Warframes... You know, bringing up the ones that are shit, and there's quite a decent amount of them that are shit, uh, is pretty important to variety, you know, for variety's sake. So I can understand that. Like, that that's fair. That's fair. But, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping they add more. I'm hoping they add more. I didn't actually, <clears throat> I didn't actually get a pumpkin this year to, like, blow it apart. Uh, just saving money. You know, getting in a better financial spot, so I want to save every last little penny that I can, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, just keep keep that momentum forward. Because uh, there'll be plenty of time to celebrate later and to do silly, stupid shit, so. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I had a really busy fucking morning, though. Brought that fucking dresser in. Yeah, filled it up. Burned all the trash from the extra boxes that I just had there. They were too small. Um, I did that, filled up the dresser with stuff, organized my uh, uh, TV stand like where it sits. So it's a lot nicer. It looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot better. Uh, I still need to sweep a little bit. 
but uh, cleared a lot of space in that corner now, which is fantastic. Um, and yeah, it feels good. It's not like a massive, massive improvement, but that corner is now basically completely empty. So that is mad good. Now I just need mom to, uh, <laughs> I just need mom to, uh, get all of her stuff, uh, out of my living room. And then once that's done, then basically my entire living room is clear. Then after that, I have to find out what the fuck I'm going to do with my car stuff. It's taking up a lot of space in, uh, the rest of the living room. Uh, and then I'll have a nice, clear open spaced house and that's the way I want it but I don't have a storage room so I can't really do anything with the uh the car stuff even if mom shows up tomorrow and bah, clears out all of her stuff but that's all right because hey it feels better I can feel the extra space so I'm happy about that <laughs> Uh, yeah. You know, I do kind of want to fucking buy, like, little things, you know? Just just little things here and there. Little trinkets or maybe, uh... Maybe Super Mario Wonder, you know? Because I had been wanting to play that since I've uh, seen it come up. But, you know, I don't need to. You know, it's just, it's just little things that you want to get here and there. Especially if you do a lot and you've not, uh... Well, I had very much time to relax, you know? You kind of just want to, kind of just want to treat yourself, you know? Sometimes, uh, for other folks, it's a bit more difficult because then after you've treated yourself that first time in a long time, well, you're going to want uh, one more thing. Uh, maybe that one, too. I mean, hey, while I'm at it, while I'm spending the money, I might as well get this, too, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's, it's easy to fall, uh, to fall into that. It's easy to fall into that. I don't really have that problem because there's not a lot of things that I would want to buy, but I could, though, still. I, uh, <laughs> I could, though, still. That's for certain. <clears throat> Especially if it's uh, magic guards or, like, things that I need. <laughs> Oh, man, then I start remembering the other things that I need, and then I need this and that, and then it's just, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Going on Etsy is a huge mistake. Going on Etsy or Amazon or eBay is a big mistake. Although Amazon doesn't really, like, get me with a lot of shit, you know? <laughs> I feel like it's eBay and Etsy more because they have, like, uh, what do you call it? More unique and niche things to catch my eye. I'm just like, what the fuck is that shit? Well, man, I don't know what it is, but I know I want it. <laughs> yeah. I think, like, like Amazon, Amazon, I feel would probably get me with things that I could use and that I can work with or something that I would or do need. But eBay and Etsy, though, that's, that's where the toys are at. For me, at least. That's how I feel. You know. And especially because Etsy, you can get some, like, some pretty nice custom shit, too. That That's pretty fantastic. Like, motherfuckers on Etsy, man, they, they be putting in the work. They be putting in the work, let me tell you. So, uh, so there is that. And I mean, you pay for that extra bit, but you're actually paying a person and not, uh, you know, some hollow corporate, you know, conglomerate fuck shit, which always feels better. I mean, you're also doing the same with uh, eBay most of the time. But, uh, I don't know how often you're really doing that on Amazon, though. I feel like you're just paying a manufacturer. A Chinese manufacturer, most of the time. <laughs> yeah, with the other two, you know, mostly for eBay, and then almost every single person on uh, Etsy is an actual individual. So, it feels a lot better, and you get better quality. 
um, all, all, all of the, uh, what do you call it? Fucking magic cards. All of the specific Magic the Gathering cards that I've gotten, uh, individually, because I haven't, you know, I haven't bought any, uh, magic packs. I, I've gotten in supreme condition. Like, these things are magnificent. And, uh, even the more expensive ones, like, like, whenever I was rocking and rolling, right? Whenever I was just making, like, fucking bank for that good bit. And I had very little bills. And, and this was, this was before I started working on the, uh, the Mustang, right? So, this is before all of that fucking money bit started. Um, and then all the other shit, too, that I had to deal with. And then I had to fix my car, my daily, on top of that. Uh... I spent eighty dollars on a magic card. I think it was uh I think it was Avison Avison, Angel of Wrath or something like that. Fucking badass. <laughs> it was like eighty or fifty bucks. And I know a lot of folks are like, Wow, you paid that much for something painted onto a little square or a little rectangle of cardboard, jeez fuck. And I thought about that myself, but <laughs> These things do retain their value, especially if you keep them in uh, plastic sleeves and or cases, uh, and then you can resell it later, actually, for quite a bit more, depending on the card. So it is an investment. But yeah, I was thinking of that too, but then I was like, well, even if I am spending that much on pretty cardboard, at the end of the day, that could be said about any wants, interests, or hobbies that anybody has, you know? It's like, wow, you spent that much on a bunch of thread or like a bunch of uh, yarn for quilting, like whoa, and a bunch of fibers. Like, wow, what a waste of money. Or like, you know, oh, and all these car parts or you know these gun parts or these figurines from Warhammer 40k or Metroid, Halo, whatever. You know, it's easy for somebody to say anything is a waste of money to somebody else's hobby that they don't take part in, you know? But, yeah, like I said, I, I was thinking about that, and then I realized it doesn't, it, it just it doesn't fucking matter, because I like it. I enjoy it, you know? So, why the fuck should I care? We're allowed to be happy. <laughs> Even though America really doesn't want us to be. Well, fuck. But, uh, but yeah, no, I like him. I like those cards. I haven't bought them for a while because that's one of those things. It's it's easy to find another really badass card. And uh, it's it's just very easy to find other things that you're going to want. So I, I have stayed off of eBay specifically for magic cards. <laughs> I have. Although, I will say, I think for like 25 bucks, you can get uh, a random box of a thousand from Star City Games. And that's honestly a really good fucking... That's, that is an excellent fucking deal. That is great pricing. So if you were into magic or you just wanted a bunch of cards for the sake of it, maybe it would be uh, artistic inspiration. Because uh, some people do, you know, because the, uh, the card heart is pretty fucking intricate. 25 bucks. You can get a box of a thousand. And uh, it's not actually even a big box because they're thin cards, so... I don't know, like, I don't know, it's just, it's a small box, I, I don't, I never bothered to measure it, because I just cared about what was inside, <laughs> but uh, it doesn't take that much space up at all, so if you wanted to give it a shot, or, you know, just look at stuff, or use them in your own art, or keep the cards whole, and incorporate them into whatever project you were doing, I can do it for pretty cheap, and you can get a shitload, um, Star City Games, that's the one. Mm. Yeah, they're really good for that. Man, I really have gone all over the place on this one. Like, I know I, I typically do, but I feel like I have been just cultivating whiplash in terms of changing the subject matter of the conversation. Like, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. It's probably because of the, uh, the really busy morning that I had today. I was busy all the way up until, uh, like, two-ish. 
So, from the point that I got up until about two, I was just straight fucking doing shit. So, that might be why. That might be why. Well, you guys have a good November 1st. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the cool weather. And if you hate it, I hope you find a way to enjoy it somehow. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, well, have a good day, y'all. I'll see you in the next audio.